Stepping along the line and centering pass scores. It was a bit weird. We hadn't really lost up until right before Christmas. You know, for a team who only loses 20 games or whatever all season, that's, that's like the end of the world. Put the rebound, put in. It looked like they had finally come back down to earth. They went through a slump there where you started to think, okay, this is this team finding its depth a little bit. And then comes December 31st. Quick back though, Loverde to protect it. Kapanen picks it up and eases it back out. Now here's Goche. He's got a step. Kapanen following it up. Uses his speed. Picks it up. Short. Handed. Goal. Kasperi Kapanen. And the Marlies go up 2 nothing. Hey, yeah, I remember that game. I remember Brooks, he scored in the third after he whined to me in the second intermission that he hadn't scored a goal in 2017. On behind the goal. Here's Brooks out front. Centering pass. Brooks picks it up. He scores! Oh, He, he buried one at the end of the game, and his game has kind of propelled since then. The, the team's game propelled since then. Good on him as he finally gets his first goal to ice this game. It's now a 5-1 advantage for Toronto over Belleville. As a first-year guy, it's easy to get down on yourself, but you look around that dressing room at the leadership that we have, and every day guys were you know, doing their best to get me in a position where I'm feeling comfortable and um, you know feeling confident in my abilities, and uh, you know I can't thank those guys enough. And the Marlies return to winning ways, their 23rd win on the season. This is more what we've been so used to for the first couple of months of the season. We just felt good, like we were going to come out and play well, and frankly, I think the game went the way that it should have. We you really know, like hopefully you know, snowball into something positive. One in, Mueller scores on the rebound! You know, we didn't we didn't sort of run and hide from it. We faced things head on. Scores! Ultimate! You know, we found our way through it. Here it is, we kind of emerged as a better team for it. And there's a lot of talent in the league, but I don't know if any team had the same amount that we did. We had faith in our abilities, and we knew that if we just played the hockey and we played how we could, that we're going to win, and that's that's the ultimate reward. We had the ability to go on a stretch like that, and and still be motivated to be better. We emphasize every day sticking with the process and keeping the guys competitive everywhere in the gym, on the ice, in practice, and and then it just leads to good results. And Brooks after it there, picked up Brocko out front shot. Here's Brooks side of the goal, scores Jeremy Brocko with 2:53 remaining. He and Adam Brooks combine to put the Marlies up 4-3. And that is it. The Toronto Marlies tie the franchise win record. And uh, congratulations on another outstanding season. And now they will get set to kick off the Calder Cup playoffs. Now everything resets itself back to zero. We got to reestablish ourselves. We're going to play a very good, very competitive Utica team. So you know, we're looking forward to having a good week and preparing for a battle here. Playoffs have arrived for the American Hockey League, and the Comets have come to Toronto. There could be a very valuable weapon for the Toronto Marlies come this playoff series and if they are able to get beyond it and that is the experience of three of their veterans who have all been down this road and had a successful ending in their pursuit of the Calder Cup. You know you get off to a nice start at home against Utica. Go to Utica and drop two startling ones in a row. 
Looks cross, Sice gives it away. Castles on a clear break. Scores! They're a hard team. Down the stretch, they won a lot of hockey games. They work extremely hard. Front drop back, scores! Back to Toronto. You know, it's playoffs, anything can happen. We know we have another level to get to in this series, but we've got full confidence in our group from our leaders all the way down that uh, in a game of this magnitude that's upcoming that everybody will be at their best, we're going to need them to be. Will you have Dermot and Janssen to put in the lineup? We expect to have those guys available, yes.